uh, he is not Jesus, but he has the same initials. Jarvis Cocker is on the line. Good morning, Jarvis. How are you? Hello there. I'm very, I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. It's lovely to have you on the show. Very, very excited. I don't know if uh, you know, but we did a whole playlist where we heard that Pulp were getting back together and playing live. It was such a brilliant excuse to uh, to dig out all those wonderful albums again. Um, but you've announced that you are back together and you've got headline slots coming up at festivals like Latitude, Neighbourhood Weekender and Transmit and uh, standalone shows. I think it's 10 years since the last Pulp live dates why was this the right time to to go again um somebody made me an offer (laughs) Uh, like uh, somebody um, a promoter came up with an idea and i said "Mm, okay that's interesting but you're gonna have to let me think about that because i i i suppose i'd been thinking about a pulp a bit you know because i wrote my book that came out early this year and that was about when the group first started off so maybe that put some kind of idea in my mind yeah but um i thought about it and then eventually there wasn't like one thing that made me think okay let's do it but i just thought yeah it why just not? feels right there's it's interesting <laughs> yeah. right that so so one one of the times that um i got the chance to interview you i remember always remember asking you about uh, your view on life and you said that you feel that life is you kind of live as if you're on a train traveling backwards so you're kind of sitting <laughs> you know with, with heading into into the unknown and and really life only makes sense when you're looking back you only have perspective on on what's gone by as you get further away from it which makes complete sense but i I wonder another ten years on from from all of that, from what happened with Pulp, from that phenomenon, how you see it now, and has that changed over the years? I suppose um, you know. I mean, I had some difficulty with it when we first became like really famous because uh, I suppose I'd wanted that since being a little kid, so there was mm. no way it was going to kind of match up to what I imagined it to be. Mm-hmm. And then uh, um, I have to, you know, it's. I try not to uh, think about myself that much, <laughs> but, but but it's it's the biggest thing that happened to me, you know, to to actually dream of being a pop star and then actually be one. And the thing that I maybe actually you know maybe the thing that was the uh, actual thing that made me think, okay, we should do this, is I I was thinking about it and then I thought, why don't I just actually listen to the songs mm-hmm. and see what they sound like now and. They sounded all right. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought, I thought, you know, and, and that's, uh, you know, and the fact that people want to come and see us, that's amazing, really. Well, it's, you know, it's funny you should say that as well, because I've been listening to all of those albums again, um, because my son has got, is, has become obsessed with Pulp. He's 15, he's stolen all my albums. And you kind of go back to, going back to that music. I mean, what, what was that like? What is it like for you? Because a lot of artists don't like to do that. I think music is about the next thing that you're working on. It's about what you're creating now. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's, um, I don't know. I, I mean, the thing that, I, one thing that I've, I've realised, we've only actually done a couple of rehearsals so far, uh-huh. but um, the songs are really high. <laughs> you know, I, I, I know that you, I know that your voice gets lower as you get older. Yeah. Uh, and, and uh, when I started singing, I thought, wow, it, you know, I can't remember them being quite this high. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, it's up there. It's, I don't know. It's like, you know, when you're younger, I guess you're trying to find out about life. And I was lucky to kind of try and write down things that I thought that I'd found or things that I thought I was trying to find out. And yeah. There's some kind of, um, I don't know, uh, there's something a bit magical about that, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that magic still holds true for, for you know, the next generation and the next is, is all I can say. Where are you going to be, Jarvis? I know tickets are, are going up. They're, they're going out on general sale tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Um, you know, how, how extensive is this tour? Well, it's all in the UK and also in Ireland as mm-hmm. well. And um, that's not laziness on, <laughs> on our part. You know, we're, we're, we're so old now that we could, we could only go short distances. <laughs> but, um, but it was, uh, like this, you know, this country is a country that that um, made Paul famous, and and, wh- and where we sold most records are where we meet most people. And so it just seemed like it would be good to to go and do that. And then we'll see if I 
we are going to do some more rehearsing this this month mm. and um I'm sure that we'll probably play in other places around the world, uh, but it just seemed, I don't know, it seemed appropriate to do it here first. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thrilled to have you back and uh, very excited to see that that wet leg are going to be supporting on some of those shows as well. That's That must be a lovely thing to kind of, uh, you know, decide who's going to open for you. Yeah, there's going to be some other people. I mean, Richard Hawley is going to play with us in Sheffield oh, as well. Oh, wow. And, um, so, um, and we're just kind of putting the... Um, we're trying to get all the all the opening acts uh, sorted out, but that, that yeah, that is good because um, I, I don't know. It, it, it like you say somehow I don't know why um, my kind of younger insecurities or whatever do seem to be listened to by young people nowadays, and uh, so uh, it, it, it'll be you know it'll be great to go out and, and have a, a good variety of bands playing with us. Yeah, well, you know what they say, finding the universal in the particular and some things, some things never change. Wonderful to talk to you, Jarvis. Have a brilliant yeah. day and thank you very much for making time. Really appreciate can it. I, can I just ask one favour from you? Anything. Name it. <laughs> My girlfriend said, can I give her a shout-out? Oh, of course you can. You must. All right. KS, listening probably downstairs in the kitchen. Love you. <laughs> Oh, Jarvis, don't start me off, you old romantic. Uh, lots and lots of love. We'll see you on the road, hopefully. All right, yes, I hope so. All right, my love. Thanks for making time. Uh, it's All only right. one thing to do now. See if you can remember how this one goes, Jarvis.